Hey guys, how you doing? This is EJ Uno coming back again. It's a late night, but it isn't too late to talk about an unboxing and review of a port one of two videos that I'm putting out right now for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from NECA. I got my hands on these figurines and I will be doing a unboxing and review. One of these videos is going to be on one and the other one is going to be on the other. So I think we're just going to take the first video of this right here and talk about the wing nut and screw loose figurines that I have that I found and um I really uh am happy that I found these like I said before this was one of the figurines that when I was a kid and I got this one but I didn't get the other ones that I just showed you guys but I was like if I came across them I was gonna get them but these these figurines are probably one of the most expensive figurines that I have got from NECA besides Toka and Razor. Um, this one was 50, 54. The other one was almost $70. This one was almost $70. This one was 54. Um, I bought these on credit because I, I had some Target gift gift cards. So I bought these because money wise i guys i'm just telling you i think these are these i'm i'm loving the collection i'm glad that i am caught up but i gotta tell you to be honest if it keeps being expensive like this i even though i love i love it and i keep on going in and out of it like the weather but i i don't even know if i'm going to be able to keep collecting these just because of the money expense it's just to me it's just becoming too much money for the figurines but you know until that day comes you know what i'm saying i'm just gonna enjoy it but i yeah but NECA, i really enjoy these figurines but the money for these figurines is who is expensive i mean expensive i mean it's you know what i'm saying like i i don't know if i could do that like for real <laughs> like you you but i'm paying uh for these two i paid over a hundred and some dollars like i think yeah like a hundred and like forty dollars something like that for two figurines i mean it used to be only like, you know, you just pay a good hundred dollars. It used to be like, there'd just be $50 each, but you know, these are getting kind of expensive. I mean, they are big figurines, but I mean, I want to say they're big figurines, but they're not like popular. You know what I'm saying? Like they're, you know what I'm saying? We remember them from the Ninja Turtle cartoon, but you know what I mean? They weren't in like every scene, every series. These are probably like, maybe like, maybe... I mean, they weren't in every episode. They were in them probably maybe like one or two episodes, something like that, that I can recall. But yeah, I mean, it's nice that I found it. It's just expensive. So anyway, I wanted to put that out there, but we definitely are going to get to that, this review and unboxing. So let's get right into it. So here we go. And um, before I get to that, guys, too, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell button. Let's get to it. Okay, guys, so here we are taking a good look at the box before we get to the unboxing of it. We have Wing Nut and Screw Loose. As I said, even Screw Loose is a pretty big figurine. On the other hand, Wing Nut is a huge figurine. And uh, just looking at the packaging, you got the cartoon work from like the old days, looking, looking just like him. Got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles right there, and then you got Screw Loose right there. You got a window look at them right there, looking all cool. You turn to one side, you got Wing Nut posing right there. You turn to the opposite side, and you got Screw Loose po posing right there, which is pretty cool. And um, on top of it, you got a big old Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, followed by Nickelodeon, The Warning, and nothing else on the other side, which is cool and then we turn to the back of it and we got wing nut and screw loose and it gives a little biography on them right there if you guys want to read that paragraph go right ahead and at the bottom it says collect them all we have chrome dome which is probably one of the tallest figurines out there and we have ground chuck and dirt bag and then we have mondo gecko and karma right there and then we have a big old picture of wing nut and screw loose and this pose right there looking really really cool and then on the bottom of it there's a upc if anybody wants to if the, if you guys can't find it and you guys want to find it so it's right there and then we have some um neca real toys and you know just a couple of sponsors right there and then we have 
um, paying uh, thank you to the people who made this figurine possible right there. So that's pretty cool. So let's flop this open right here. Let me see if I can do it with one hand. Uh, is this side of this open? Yeah. Okay, so. I'm going to try to slide that out. Okay, so we slid that out. And um, something I did not see is the background. I think NECA is really cool when they... One thing that tears them apart and makes them different from Super 7 is they always give you a part of the cartoon background on which the cartoon are, took place. And I think that's pretty, pretty cool that they do that. Big ups to NECA for doing that. That's pretty awesome. Um, so here we are. A closer picture, a closer look at them right here, and you can see all like the detail of wing nut right there going down, and just the coloring and looking really cool. The e the ears are flappy. Um, the bell, it just looks like straight out the cartoon. You got his big old toes, feet right there, which is pretty cool. You have his laser gun right there that just looks really cool with a scope on it. Then you got wing nut right there he's a fly or mosquito or wasp one of them or something like that i like the wings in the back for um wing nut it's pretty cool and um you get really into it uh so we turn on the back of it and uh we can see a picture of uh, we see the back picture the back look at wing nut right there and i believe that is uh, actual pretty cool it's a stand so he can stand on so he can act like he's flying which is pretty cool i wish neca would have put these in some of their other figurines that they have so that's pretty cool that they added that that's really awesome um i never saw them add like a stand like that before so that's pretty cool that they did do that that's pretty awesome and then wing nut comes with four different hands which is pretty cool and then you see um Screw loose his tail right there, which is pretty cool right there. So um, that's pretty that's pretty awesome that they added in this. Um, uh, I mean, pretty pretty cool. So yeah, so I, I gotta say. Oh, and at the bottom of here, let me see what this is. We get some type of wanted. I don't know. These look like stickers or something like that. They look like stickers or I don't know what this is. This is um stickers or some type of i guess a paper and this is one it smash so that's pretty cool that's that's something different that they added in which is really really cool then that's really awesome right there that they added that in and um that's pretty awesome so um yeah guys so i just really just wanted to take the time out and you know look at this figurine and uh the arms do sw swivel back and forth the legs do not move so much. Um, but I just want to take a look. This is really, really pointy. Really, really pointy. <laughs> Let me see about this. This is not as pointy as this right here. But yeah, so this is pretty cool though. So it's pretty awesome. So um, yeah, I just wanted to take a look at this, guys. Stay tuned for or look at the next video I'm going to be putting out for Dirt, dirt Bag and Ground Chuck. I'm definitely going, um, going to be doing an unboxing and review on those. So uh, appreciate you guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell button. Hope you enjoyed this video.